Hello, God bless you today. May the Lord bless you today. May the Lord God Almighty bless you today. May God who loves you. God, God who loves you. God who cares about you. Your great and mighty God, your loving Father, bless you, Son of God, daughter of God, child of God in Christ Jesus. Jesus loves you. God, your Father has a good, a good plan for your life. He wants it to bless you. He wants it to lead you into this plan, into the fulfillment of this plan. Your God, your Father is, is, is here to bless you. He wants it to lead you into, He wants it to lead you into success. He wants it to bless you. He wants to establish you. He wants to establish His covenant in your life. He wants it to, He wants it to make you all that. He, he wants it to make you, He wants it to make you the kind of man and woman that he has in his heart for you to be he wants it to bless you and to make you into the image and likeness of his own son jesus was so beautiful jesus is beautiful jesus is beautiful he is magnificent oh jesus is so good and so kind and so loving and so caring hallelujah blessed be god hallelujah and god god has created you for a purpose God has created you for a purpose. He has a purpose for your life. He has a plan for your life. He has projects for you. Blessed be God. Glory be to God. And it is God's desire for you to, to marry. It is God's desire for you to have children. It is God's desire for you to, 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 to have a family. Blessed be God. Glory be to God. In the Bible, and the Bible says it that it is not good for men to be alone. So today, I have in my heart to speak to you about the subject of marriage. I have in my heart to speak to you about the subject of marriage. And uh, blessed be God, if you are called to to marry, if it is your desire to marry, to get married, blessed be God. Uh, if it is your desire, if it is, uh, if you, you have in your heart to to to, to have a husband and wife and it is your heart's a desire and you have been praying for it and um, blessed be God glory be to God and you believe God for that it is God's will for you to marry and even God said that it is not good for men to be alone so uh, it is not good for men it is not good for women to be alone blessed be God and God wants you to bless you with a wife or her husband God wants it to bless you with a life partner. God wants you, to, God wants it to bless you with somebody who will, will be, will be with you. Blessed be God so that you be not alone. Blessed be God so that you may have fellowship with this person. Someone to have fellowship with. Blessed be God's uh, companion for companionship. Marriage is for companionship. Marriage is for fellowship. Marriage is a, uh, it is uh, to have somebody to help you, somebody to build with, somebody to build uh, like a family with. You cannot, you can never have a family alone. You can never have children alone. It is impossible to have children alone. So, blessed be God. And it is good to have a family. It is good to build a family, to have children. Children are a blessing of the Lord. It is a blessing of God. It is a gift from God. And it is good to have children. Children are like friends to us. It is our companions. Blessed be God, and we can teach it them. And when you keep, when you you teach children, even yourself, you learn. You learn from teaching your children. You will grow up. You will you will be. Um, and and when you and and the Bible says also there's a there is joy in giving. And so so you will you will uh, you will give to your children. You will share. A parents always has. As, a, as in heart to, to bless his children, to share, to good, to share their food with their children. Blessed be God to, to, to do good things for them. Blessed be God to teach it them. They want their children to learn any, everything that they, that, that they know. They want to share with their wisdom with their children. They want, they want to pour out, to pour into their children their wisdom, their, their understanding, intelligence, and knowledge, science, everything good that they have. If they want to play piano, they want to teach it their children. They want their children to, to, to learn about music and to have music and to enjoy music. Anything they enjoy, they want to share with their children. 
If you want to, if you're choosing to imitate them, blessed be God. To imitate anything good, anything good in them, blessed be God. Glory be to God. So God wants to bless you. God, your God is a good God. He's a loving God and he cares. Blessed be God. And, uh, yes, your best, best interest at heart. He wants it to, he wants you to, to be fulfilled. He wants you to be satisfied, to, to be contented in life. Blessed be God. He wants you to be happy. And he has a good plan for your life, a plan, a, a, a plan of prosperity. Blessed be God, a plan of happiness, of fulfillment. Blessed be God. Glory be to God. God doesn't want you to be a failure. He doesn't want you to be a failure in anything, but he wants you to be a success. He has called you to be a success. Blessed be God. And you have been created into God's image and likeness. Do not, uh, do not forget that. And God is a success. There is no failure in God. God is a good God. And he has blessed you with gifts. He has blessed you with gifts, with talents. He has blessed you with wisdom, with intelligence. He has blessed you with, uh, with a lot of, a lot of beauties. There's a lot of beauties inside of you. A lot of beauties of spiritual pearls inside you, inside of you. Blessed be God. You have teaching gifts in you. You may have teaching gifts inside of you. Encouragement gifts, gifts to encourage people, gifts to counsel people. Blessed be God. You, 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 you have a lot of gifts inside of you. A lot of treasures in, inside of you. A lot of pearls inside of you. A lot of blessing to to bless people with inside of you. You are, you have been created to be a blessing to 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 somebody. You have to created to be a blessing, and you have been created to be a blessing to a special man or to a special woman to 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 whom you will uh, you will attach yourself to. Blessed be God. You will covenant with this person. You will make a covenant of marriage. You will unite yourself. You will cleave to this person. And this person who shall become your husband or your wife, blessed be God. You will bless it, this person. And this person will bless you. Blessed be God. You will build up one another. You will strengthen one another. You will encourage one another. Blessed be God. You will learn from one another. Glory be to God. You will share. You will share food. You will share thoughts. You will share a wisdom, understanding, blessed be God, glory be to God, hallelujah, glory be to God, and you will multiply, blessed be God, and you, you will subdue the earth, like God said, God said, multiply, be fruitful, multiply and subdue the earth, dominate over the earth, dominate, govern, exercise authority over animals, Exercise authority over all, over everything that breathes upon the earth. Blessed be God. You are the master of the earth. Blessed be God. God has created you to rule. So rule with authority. Rule in the name of Jesus. Rule in the name of Jesus. Speak with authority. And do not let the devil discourage you. Do not let the devil steal from you. But bind the devil. Bind the devil. For, forbid him to, to, Forbid him to come, to, to come, uh, to, to come to, uh, to hurt you. He has no right hurting you. He has no right stealing from you. He has no right. To, the devil is a thief. Yes, but he has no right. You have to forbid him. You have to rebuke him. You have to reprimand him. You have to rebuke him. And you have to tell him he has no right and to stop in Jesus' name. And he has no choice but to obey because because Jesus has given you authority over evil spirit, over the de devils. He has given you authority and you are blessed. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So I want to share with you some words of wisdom and advice it to help you prepare for marriage. To help you prepare for marriage. Blessed be God. So I will write, I will read in the book of Genesis where, where God is as first spoken about marriage. And it is in Genesis chapter 2, starting at verse 19. Blessed be God. No, verse 18. It is written, now, now the Lord God said, it, it is not good that, that that man should be alone. I, I will make him a helper. I will make him a helper meet. 
a, a blessed be God. I will make a, a, a I will make him a helper. I will make a helper for him. So I will repeat. Now the Lord to God said it is not good. I'm reading from the Amplified Bible. Now, now the Lord God said it is not good. It is not good. It is not sufficient. It is not satisfactory. That man should be alone. I, I will make him a helper meet suitable adapted complementary for him hallelujah it will make him a helper meet suitable adapted complementary complementary for him and and out of the ground the lord god formed every wild beast and living creature of the field and every bird of the air and brought them to adam to see what he would call them and, and whatever adam called them a and whatever adam called every every um, living creature that was its name and in adam gave and adam gave names to all the livestock and to the birds of the air and to every wild beast of the field but for adam there was no there was not found a helper meat suitable adapted complementary for him and and the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And while he slept, he, he took one of his ribs or a part of his side and closed up the, 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 the place with flesh. And, and the rib or part of his side, which the Lord God had taken from the man, he, he built up, he built up and made into a woman. And, and he brought her to the man. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this blessing. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God. So, woman is a blessing. To woman is a blessing to the man. And likewise, a man is a blessing to the woman. Then, I'll continue. Then Adam said, this creature, this creature is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall, she shall be called woman. Be, because she was taken out of a man. Therefore, man shall leave his father and his mother and shall become united and cleave to his wife. And, and they shall become one flesh. And they shall become one flesh. And they shall become one flesh. And, and the man and his wife were both naked and were not uh, embarrassed or ashamed in each other's presence. And the man and his wife were both naked and were not embarrassed or ashamed in each other's presence. Blessed be God. So you see, God created a man and he made the man, he made the man aware that he, he was missing something because he, he, he made the animals to come to him and the animals came, uh, in pair, in pairs of two. They came and they were a male and a female and they were together. And they, they could reproduce and they could be, you know, together. But as for man, he, 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 he saw nobody uh, that has this resemblance that was like him, that he could uh, fellowship with, that he could share with, uh, that he could share his, his, uh, his mind with, his thoughts with. There was nobody like him. They were animals that they did not resemble him. They were not in his likeness. So... God made him to become aware that something was missing to him. And so after that, God, God made him to sleep and God took out a rib from, from him. And with the rib, God formed a woman, the woman, blessed be God. And God brought the woman into the man's life before him in his presence. And when he saw the woman, when he saw this beautiful creature that resembled him, then he said he was really excited. Then he was really pleased. Then he was really happy because finally he, he has somebody to fellowship with, to speak with, somebody to share with, somebody who understood him, somebody, somebody to, 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 to be, to be his companion. Blessed be God, adapted to him, suitable to him, complementary to him. Blessed be God, this is what God wants it to do for you. Blessed be God, God has created a special woman for you. A man, or if you are a woman, or um, um, a woman, if you are a man, God has somebody for you. 
but you have to pray for 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 you to for, for you to receive what God has for you. Even to be saved, you have to pray to be saved. So to to receive into your life this man or woman, you have to pray. You have to pray to God, and you have to persevere in praying, and you have to be waiting for this person to to manifest himself into your life. You have to you have to pray. Blessed be God. Everything that God that God does, He does it with prayer. You have to give Him permission to to bless you. You have to work with Him by praying, by releasing your faith, by speaking words of faith, by speaking to God, and by by commenting that God's will be done in your life, by saying, I commend to God's will to be done in my life, by prophesying, by saying in Jesus' name, what God said to me will, will be fulfilled. It will accompli- it will be accom- it will be fulfilled. It will come to pass. My God is faithful and I believe it and I declare it and I know it shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. Blessed be God. So why God promised it to you? You just prophesy it. You proclaim it. You say, it shall be done. It shall be done. And I shall not be tonight. Blessed be God. So I want to give you some, some, um, I want to give you some advice, some words of wisdom, things I have learned and things I have put into practice in, into my own life. Blessed be God. And I know, I know, I know it is good. Blessed be God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So first, what I will, what I, my, um, my, my advice to you, blessed be God, what I recommend, what I recommend that you to first prepare, prepare your marriage in prayer, prepare your marriage in prayer. F- first thing, ask God was a beautiful plan for your life and has certainly your interest at heart who loves you and wants you to be happy. God who wants the success of your marriage, who knows better than anyone the kind of partner you need, and that will be best for you. Ask God to give you a husband. Ask God to, to give you a husband or a wife. One, one pleasing to his heart and according to, and according to his plan for your life, because he has a good plan for your life. According to his own wisdom and intelligence and judgment, ask God to help you search for and find this person through prayer. You have to ask God to, to, to help you find this person. Blessed be God. You have to be looking for the person in prayer. Blessed be God. And of course, and of course, blessed be God to you. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. You have, you have to be, you have to be, um, you have to, to be in, in, um, in preparation. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Thank you, Lord. So ask God to, to help you search for this person. Blessed be God and find this person through prayer. You will be praying. Blessed be God. And God will bring this person to you in a way or another. He may bring this person to you um, in, in the church. Blessed be God. It might be somebody in your, lo- in your own local church. It might be somebody in another local church. And God will uh, maybe uh, make the person to come into, into your church as a visit. Blessed be God, and you will meet, and you will meet, you will see one another. Blessed be God, and you will have the desire to, to speak, to know one another, to share. Blessed be God, you would, or God will speak to you, and you'll speak to this person. Blessed be God, God may show you to a person in dream, in a dream or a vision. Blessed be God, there are many ways that God can do it. Blessed be God, you will be praying, and when you pray, you are active. When you pray, blessed be God. When you pray, there are things happening. Blessed be God. And also angels are working. There are holy angels who are working. And you are pushing back also to, to the forces of the devil. Blessed be God. You are, you are pushing them back. And you are, you are destroying strongholds that the devil has, has built up against you. Blessed be God. So ask God to help you search and find this person through prayer. Ask, ask God to lead that, that person. Ask God to lead you to that person to arrange for you to meet and be in the presence of each other. Ask God to lead you into, ask God to lead you to that person to arrange for you to meet and be in the presence of each other. Ask God to speak to you about this person too. Ask God to speak to you. God knows, God speaks. God is a God of, God is a God who speaks. He's a God to communicate to people. 
is that God will have communion with you when you'll be praying, having your time of fellowship and communion with the Lord, reading the Bible and praying and worshiping the Lord. The Lord can speak to you and he will speak to you. He's a God who speaks. He's a God who communicates. Blessed be God. He is, he is the one who has created human being and he has made us uh, people of communication. Blessed be God. He's God is a communicator. Is a speaker. He knows how to speak. And he knows also how to communicate through images, through dreams and visions. Blessed be God. He'll give you insight. Blessed be God. He will make you th know things. Blessed be God. So ask God to speak to you about this person. He's preparing for you to give you the divine insights and revelation about this person, about you, about uh, you, about his plan. His plan for both of you. Blessed be God. His plan for your marriage. What he desires you to be. Blessed be God. His plan for your life. For ministry. And for whatever he has in store for you. Blessed be God. So I got, ask God to give you divine insights. And revelation about this person. Blessed be God. About, uh, about this person's personality and character. To make you know key things about the person. Things important for you to know. Blessed be God. And he will do it. He will do it in his own time. Be patient though. You have to be patient. You have to be patient. Do not let the devil, do not let the devil make you to become frustrated. Do not let the devil, uh, bring vexation of hearts, of heart into you and, uh, and so that you would stop praying, so that you would be discouraged, so that you would disbelieve. Do not do that. Do not, do not let the devil do not give anything for the devil to rejoice at your expense. Do not let, do not give anything to the devil to, to the devil to rejoice at your own expense. But rebuke the devil, rebuke the devil, and uh, blessed be God, glory be to God. Resist it, the devil, and he has to, he has to flee. Blessed be God. Put, put the devil to shame. Put the devil to shame in resisting him. Blessed be God in doing, in doing contrary to what he would want you to, to do. He would, he would want you to be discouraged. He would want you to disbelieve God. He, wants, he would want you to, to be frustrated. But uh, blessed be God, rejoice in the Lord. Blessed be God to never be, be discouraged, never give up. Blessed be God, glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Secondly, start start to pray. Start to pray and do not stop praying for your future spouse. Stop to pr start to start to pray and do not stop praying for your future spouse, your future wife or husband, or all good things you know to ask for yourself. Ask also for that person who will be your covenant partner, will be your husband or wife. Pray and request the anointing for this person. Pray and request the anointing, the anointing of the Spirit of God for this person. As the anointing which is so precious, ask God to anoint this person to pour out his precious anointing upon this person because you love this person without having, having seen the person yet. You love this person. Blessed be God. And you manifest your love to this person by praying and requesting the anointing for this person. Blessed be God. The, and the baptism of the Holy Spirit and fire. Ask God to for the baptism of the Holy Spirit and fire for this person, which is, a, which, which is such a great blessing. The baptism of the Holy Spirit and fire transfer, transformation into, as transformation into the image of, into the image of Jesus, into the image and likeness of Jesus for this person, that this person be transformed more and more day by day into the image and likeness of Jesus, it's a beautiful son of God. Oh, hallelujah. As for, as for the renewal of this person's mind and intelligence by the word of God, as for purification for him or for her, purification and sanctification, as for strengthening and constant spiritual growth for this person, as for wisdom and spiritual understanding for this person, ask God to give him wisdom and spiritual understanding, ask, ask, ask that God would teach it that person through his Holy Spirit and counsel and exhort and encourage him or her, encourage your future wife 
or husband, blessed be God. Blessed be God. Pray, pray, pray to God. Pray to God to lead you. Pray to God to lead. Pray to God to lead your beloved. Blessed be God. Is your beloved. She is your beloved. Pray to God to lead your beloved into, into all the truth. And, and, and pray for divine healing in all areas for him or for her, for your beloved, for your future wife or husband. Blessed be God for your husband to be, for your wife to be. As for divine healing at the level of his emotion, of his mind, of his mind, soul, and physical being. Blessed be God. And God will be listening and he will be blessing this person, even though you will not see this person yet, but there will be a great work being done in this person's life. Blessed be God. And one day, and one day you shall rejoice it that you have been doing that. Blessed be God. So start, start uh, doing that. Blessed be God. And do not wait that uh, you know the person that he be, that you be sure who is this person to, to be doing that. Just pray and, and say, God, you know who is my future wife or husband. So I'm praying for this person that you know, that you have chosen for me, that you have designed for me, that you have prepared, that you have been preparing for me. I'm praying for him or for her. Blessed be God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And if, uh, if there's a person, if there's a person you, th you think might be the person that uh, in your heart you feel that it, this might be my wife, it, this might be my, my, my husband. So ask God, ask God, God, is this, is it this person? Is it the one for me? Is it the one you have chosen for me? Is it the one God you have prepared for me? And uh, blessed be God, ask God to reveal to you. Ask God to, to, to tell you, to speak to you, to let you know, so that you be sure, so that you, you know. Blessed be God, glory be to God. Thirdly, I, I, I recommend that you pray for your unborn children. I recommend that you pray for your unborn children. For children you, for children will be born within your marriage, that, uh, for children that will, that you want to have to have, for children that you want to have. Pray for your unborn children. Pray, pray for, for children will, for children will be born within your marriage. Children that you want to have. Pray, pray that God will bless your babies from the wombs. Pray that God would bless your babies from the womb. That God would pr preserve, that God would preserve them from contamination, from the defilements of this world, from immoralities and perversions and, and all impurities from their mother's womb. Pray, pray that God would uh, would give your children a heart. Pray that God would you would, would give your children a, a heart like Jesus' heart, a humble and gentle heart, a heart filled with love and kindness and benevolence. Pray, pray that uh, pray that your children pray that your children be men and women of faith uh, that they trust in God and believe Him that they take to heart to honor God from an early age. And, and love and respect and obey God and that they will also love and respect and obey their parents that they will obey and respect their parents their mother and father their, their, their natural mother and father blessed be God that they submit to God pray that they will submit to God to the father and keep God's word and, and start praying right now start praying right now even right now for your unborn unborn children before even knowing your future wife before even knowing your future wife or future husband pray pray for all for pray for all the good things that, that you can think of pray for all the good things that, that you can think of and desire for your children for your babies for your beloved sons and daughters pray for a, anything good blessed be God you can pray for musical gifts you can pray for you can pray for singing gifts that they will sing well, that they will sing beautifully. Why not? You can pray for, hmm, you can pray for anything good, anything good to pray and pray, uh, pray and pray more for spiritual, spiritual things. Pray for faith, that they be men of faith, that they be filled with faith, that they may have strong and conquering faith. Blessed be God that they will love the word of God, that they will enjoy church, that they will enjoy going to church, church meetings, 
that they will not th that they will not think that it is boring that they will not think that it is uh, that it will that they will enjoy it blessed be god that they will be obedient to their parents that they will be that they will be humble blessed be god to pray for anything good blessed be god glory be to god and forbid the devil to to work into their to work in their lives forbid the devil access it to their lives say to the devil you have nothing to do with my you will have nothing to do with my, with my children devil i forbid you access it to my children to my children devil from the mother's womb the devil devil i have nothing to do with you do not come into my life do not come into my life devil i i i i, I rebuke you devil i reject anything that is from you i do not want you i will have nothing to do with you and do not touch my children do not touch my children in jesus name blessed be god glory be to god pray for your children to be born hallelujah pray for your children to be born and you will rejoice one day that you have done that glory be to god this is wisdom to do that i recommend that. i've been doing it myself i've been doing it and i know it is something good a lot of people have been doing it and they have been blessed i've heard testimonies about it and i know it i know it works <clears throat> i know it works and i know that uh, these prayers are answered blessed be god and i know that the answer of god is yes 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 blessed be god something else pray pray that the pray that the pray that uh, you would love one another with all your hearts pray that you would love one another that you and your future husband and wife would would, would love one another with all your hearts and mind and soul and spirit that you would that your desire will be for one another that you will love one another that you would cherish one another that uh, that that your heart would be tender that the that you will give all your affection to your husband and that your husband will give all their, their affection to you that the blessed be god glory be to god that that your love will be that there will be no end to your love that there will be no end to this love into this loving relationship blessed be god that you will grow in love for one another that you will love one another one another more and more and more blessed be god glory be to god and and that this love will never fail blessed be god pray for pray for faithfulness in marriage pray for faithfulness in marriage that you will be faithful to your covenant of marriage that you will be faithful that you'll be you'll be faithful to your partner that you will be faithful one to another that you will be both faithful one to another faithful to your husband or wife pray that you will be faithful to each other and to god and to your god pray that you will be faithful to each other and to your god faithful to your covenant covenant the covenant that you will do it is for marriage is a covenant that you will honor your covenant and that you will be faithful that there will be no that there will be no adultery that there will not there will not be an adult there will not be any adultery that you will not covet another woman that you will not uh, that you will not uh, betray your your covenant of marriage blessed be god pray because that your evil spirit would want to destroy your marriage by 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 pushing you into doing adultery but pray and you will defeat the devil by prayer and you will be well armed and well and well uh, well 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 you will have an armor against it that blessed be god we are we have to be we are to be careful and we are to be aware there are there, there are evil spirits wanting to to destroy our relationship to destroy marriage because they hate marriage they hate marriage and they are very jealous of us they are jealous and they are evil they are detestable and they would want to destroy our marriage and we are to keep them away and we have to give them nothing to use against against us blessed be god glory be to god may god bless your marriage something else something else pray that they pray that there be always the brotherly friendship that there be always brotherly friendship between you between you two between you and your 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 spouse between you and your husband or wife pray that there be always brotherly friendship between you two 
Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus, that, that there be great intimacy and bounding in your relationship. That there be sweet fellowship and communion as, as brother and sister in Christ. Glory be to God. So pray that there always be brotherly friendship between you two. And intimacy. Pray for intimacy and bounding in your relationship of marriage. That there be sweet fellowship. That you will know sweet fellowship. That there will be sweet fellowship between you and your beloved. Sweet fellowship and communion as, as brother and sister in Christ. Glory be to God. Pray, pray that your communication channel be never obstructed. But that there be always good communication between you. Because communication is so important. Pray, pray for, for good, for good fellowship and understanding of one another. That you will, you will understand one another and understand one another well. Glory be to God. Blessed be God. Pray for that. And when you pray for that, it, you show to God that it is really important for you. And in your mind, it will be engraved that, uh, you, you will seek that and you will do all that is in your power that there be good communication. You will communicate and you will want to communicate and uh, blessed be God. And uh, you will, you will, you will be aware of, of, uh, you will be aware of anything, anything that is, uh, that, that is coming to, to disturb this communication, to destroy this communication, to obstruct this channel of communication. You will be aware. You will be careful. Blessed be God. You will be forewarned. And blessed be God. You will fight for the channel of communication to not be obstructed. Blessed be God to not be, to, 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 to not be become, uh, you know, to, to not become obstructed, to not be stopped. Blessed be God. Glory be to God. It will be, you will, you will protect what is yours. You will defend what is yours. You will guard what is precious to you. Good communication, blessed be God, fellowship, understanding, glory be to God. You will protect your relationship because it is so very dear to your heart. Pray, pray, pray for good, pray for good relations, good cooperation between you and your husband or and you or between your and your husband and wife. Good collaboration between you two. Pray that you would manage your finances well. That would manage your finances together as a couple. That will administer together. That you will take every decision together. Blessed be God. Glory be to God. That you will not hide your money from your, from your spouse, from your wife or husband. That you will not say, oh, this is my money. Do not touch my money. You have nothing to do with my money. I do whatever I want with my money. I have earned my money. I work for my money. This is my, my, my. You will stop speaking like that. Because it is, it, it is, uh, it is our money. You will see it is our money. It is ours. Blessed be God. And uh, there will be no cupidity, no love of money, no greed in your marriage. Pray for that. Glory be to God. And, 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 and uh, expel, expel anything that is expelled from your life and from your heart and from your mind. Anything that is contrary to that, that is, Anything that is uh, greed, anything that is uh, anything that is evil, blessed be God, because there must not be any greed in your marriage. There must not be any love of money, because the love of money is the root of all evil. According to what the Bible says, love of money is something evil and detestable, and it can destroy. It can destroy marriages. Blessed be God. Glory be to God. You should never despise your your spouse your spouse if he if he doesn't have a work. You should you should not nag him. And the the man should 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 do everything in his in his, in his power to provide for his own family. It is his job. It is his responsibility to provide to be a provider for his own family. It is his responsibility to provide. So the man of course should see to provide and work and be. And be diligent in working. Blessed be God. And the woman should take uh, take care of the home. Blessed be God. Glory be to God and manages her home well. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for marriage. Thank you for good marriages, Lord. Glory be to God. Thank you for giving to my brothers and sisters good marriages, Lord. And those who are already married, I pray, God, that you will bless their marriage, Lord. 
in Jesus' name. And something else, pray that there be pray that there be no dispute between you two, that there will be no quarreling. Pray, pray to avoid these things at all cost, to avoid disputes and quarrels at all cost. There must not be dispute. There must not, there must not be any quarrel. Do not fight one another. Do not fight one another. But you should fight the devil. The one is to be fight to be fought is the devil. Is it the enemy? So, to, so avoid uh, disputes and quarrels. Pray, pray that there be mutual respect. That there be mutual respect between 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 you. That you will respect one another. That the husband will respect the wife, and of course, that the wife must respect and your, her husband and submit to your husband, to your own husband. This is what the Bible says. So pray for mutual respect, to honor one another, to act with humility and gentleness towards each other. Blessed be God. Glory be to God. Bl glory be to God. So, glory be to God. Pray for that. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Something else. A good advice I give you is to re release your faith through writing letters by faith for for to, to to your future wife a husband or future husband without even knowing this person yet without even knowing who the person is that you will get married to you could write letters you could write him letters to express your love to express your love for him to express your love for god to to, to express love to express your faith and confidence that god gave you that God gave you according to your heart's desire. That God gave you a wife and a husband. That uh, you believe that it, the answer is yes. And that God has somebody for you. Blessed be God. And that this man, this woman is being prepared for you. Glory be to God. So, ex so express yourself through writing letters. Before you ever met this person. To express your thoughts to, to this person. Through writing that, and of course, you will give this person these letters. You will keep them, of course. You will keep these letters preciously. You will keep these letters. And one, when, when you are, and when you are married, then you will be able to give this person these letters. And this person will be very happy to read these letters. It will rejoice this person's heart. Glory be to God. So pray, so write the letters to express your thoughts to him or to her, to tell him or her what you would say. What you would say if you were in this pre in this person's presence, so you can write uh, letters. This is a good way to release your faith, uh, to speak by faith, uh, to speak uh, romantically to this person, to speak love to this person, to speak with affection to this person, and to to speak prophetically to this person, to express uh, your love, to express your faith, to to express God's plan, what you know of God's plan. And what God has revealed to you. Blessed be God. Glory be to God. And you can read um, you can read songs, the, the Song of Songs of Solomon, which is a kind of letter like this. Blessed be God, which is more a kind of poem. It, it, it doesn't need to be a poem, a simple letter. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Something else. Blessed be God. Another advice. Buy -by and read books written by pastors, evangelists, prophets, apostles, the teachers of the word of God on the subject of marriage. Buy and read books like I've done. I have read a lot of books. I have bought and read a lot of books because it is important to me. So I have invested in that, invested in books, in buying books, books. And I have bought, I have bought and read books written by pastors, evangelists, Prophets, apostles, teachers of the word of God on, on the subject of marriage because I want to know, I want to learn, I want to be well prepared and I want knowledge and the Bible says for lack of knowledge my, my people perish. So lack of knowledge, you, you're, for lack of no, knowledge your marriage may perish and their marriages they are being destroyed for lack of knowledge because people get married without uh, without preparing themselves they run into marriage without being without preparing themselves you have to prepare yourself you have to get knowledge you have to acquire wisdom knowledge you have to receive good uh, you have to receive uh, advice you have to read a book of the, 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 the god's word and the first book, book to read of course is the bible 
Proverbs, the book of Proverbs, and uh, and to and to read on the in the Bible about on the subject of marriage. Blessed be God to do a list of scriptures that speaks of marriage and read to them and meditate upon them and read and buy books, books which are really anointed and 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 uh, and from people that you, uh, of course, uh, people that uh, people that are well established, people. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Be people in whom you have confidence in. People in whom you have confidence. Blessed be God. Glory be to God. And something else that you could do and that I recommend is to listen to anointed preachings and teachings on the subject of marriage. To listen to anointed preachings and teachings on the subject of marriage. Blessed be God. Glory be to God. I have done that. And it, this is not wasting your time. This is not wasting time. This is a, a time well invested. Huh. This time that you are investing in yourself, you are swing to the word of God. You will reap for, from. You will benefit from that. Great shall be your reward in your and uh, and you shall you shall reap from what you have sown. Blessed be God. If you have been sowing, you shall reap. Glory be to God. Do not do not read our our Arlequin's novel. Do not read uh, novels called Arlequin. <laughs> These are not good. Do not read no, do, do not read uh, novels written by unbelievers, by pe by people who do not know God, uh, who speak on the subject on the topic of marriage and relationship, because because it, these books are unclean and are not for you. God shout their their wisdom is contrary to the wisdom of God. The way the way they do things is is not is not the way of God. So I recommend to not read our novels. Do not read novels written by unbelievers, by 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 people who do not know God, who do not believe in God, who are not filled with the Spirit of God, who, who, who speak on the topic of marriage and relationship, because these books are unclean and are not for and are not for you, God's, God's children. Their, their wisdom is contrary to the wisdom of God. The, the way the way they do things is not the way of God, so you should not read them. It, it, it they are not good for you. They are not good for you. But read read what is written by children of God, who have the anointing of God and who are taught of God and who knows it, the things of God. Of course, blessed be God, and you shall be blessed. Do not do not watch soap operas. Soap operas that that, that tell that tell love stories. You know that what is soap opera. Do not do not uh, watch soap operas on on TV for 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 their conception of love is twisted. They they would deceive you. They would pollute your mind and defile your 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 morality, your good morality. Get get away from these things because it is contrary to God's wisdom. Get away from these things. Uh, uh, shut shut down the the the, the, the television. Do not watch it, these things like um, the, the like um, the top model. Or what is the name? Top model. Uh, the, anyway, you you know you know you know you know what I'm talking about. It is or not good for you. Something else. Do not watch. Do not watch movies of the world telling stories of love, be because it their love stories often promote fornication, which is sleeping. With uh, a man or woman having sexual relationship, having intercourse outside of the bond of marriage, outside of the bond of marriage, it is people who are not married having sex together, and this is called fornication, and they promote that. As for them, it is something like um, it is something that uh, there's nothing wrong, there is nothing evil to it, but it is wrong, it is evil, it is sin. Uh, fornication is sin, sinning. Sleeping with a man or woman to whom you are not married to is called fornication. It is a sin. God detests that. God rebukes it, those who do that. God punishes it, those who do that. And it brings, uh, um, when you do that, it brings, um, it brings shame upon you. It will bring, um, a curse upon you. And you give to the devil legal, 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 uh, legal, um, uh, you, you give to the devil place it to, to hurt you. So it is sin. You know that. Uh, you know that sin is something that uh, has uh, consequences. So do not do it. 
So do not watch movies of the world telling stories of love because their love stories often promote fornication, adultery, divorce, and, and, and even homosexuality, gay marriages. So do not watch it their movies, but watch Christian movies. There are a lot of good Christian movies. And like, uh, for example, um, um, uh, like, like, for example, there are, there the, are the, the movie which is called Courageous. Courageous, which is done by a church. And, uh, look for, look for it on the, the internet. Courageous, the movie. And the fire, what is it? Um, um, fire. Uh, I forgot the, the name, but there are a lot of good movies. Uh, good movies, Christian movies, biblical movies, movies who are with, with, uh, was was uh, promote was uh, promoting faith faith in God, and was promoting uh, was promoting uh, uh, pu pu purity, sanctification, blessed be God, holy life, glory be to God. Something else, another advice: do not listen, do not listen to the stories of divorced people who were dis disillusioned, who speak evil of marriage. Do not do not listen to them. Keep keep yourself pure. Keep yourself pure. Get, get, get away from immorality. Get away from all immorality. Flee from all immorality and impurity, such as pornography and things, and things of this kind. Get away from that. And throw it, if you have uh, movies of this kind, throw that in the garbage. Destroy them. Burn them. And do not go over the internet on, 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 on websites that, 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 pro, that promote pro pornography. You should never do it. This is wrong. This is evil. So you should repent for your own good. Blessed be God. Glory be to God. So may the Lord bless you. These are some of, uh, some good uh, words of wisdom, God, words of wisdom, advice. This is my, my recommendation to you. Blessed be God. And if you do it, if you follow that, you shall be blessed for sure. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. This, this is from God. This, this is according to God's, this is according to God's will. This is according to God's word. It is coming from the, from the word of God. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. So apply that to your life and you shall, you shall never regret it. So be blessed. Me to Lord bless you with marriage. Me to, me to Lord God Almighty give you a life partner. Blessed be God. A husband and a wife, according to his heart's desire, somebody will please you, somebody will be good to you, will love you and cherish you and honor you. A, a, a good man, a good woman, a Christian man and woman, because we should never marry a, an unbeliever. We should never marry somebody of another faith, somebody from another religion, from Islam and Buddhism, or from a false church. But we should marry children of God. So I pray that God will give you one of his own sons and daughters. Born again. Saved by faith. Saved. Who is filled with the spirit of God. Who loves God. And who loves the word of God. Who honor God. Who obey God. Blessed be God. May God bless you. And may God, and may, and may God do wonders in your life. In Jesus name. Amen.